So now that we have formulated the capacitated facility location problem, which again determines where should I build from a set of potential locations and then allocates the capacity of those open facilities to meet demand. Um, now that we've formulated that in a previous video about it as an integer program, let's now solve um, an example problem using Excel Solver. So for this example, um, we have input data that's given here. Um, and so what is that input data? We know the cost of producing and transporting um, 1,000 units from Baltimore to Atlanta, from Baltimore to Boston, from Cheyenne to Atlanta, Cheyenne to Boston, and so forth. So we have what we would call CIJ, which is our input um, parameters about the connection between the supply and our demand. We also know the demand um, in thousands of units um, at all of these different um, cities. And so we need to meet that demand. If we decide that we're gonna build somewhere, um, it costs a uh, fixed cost uh, per month to do that. And they vary by the cities we build in and they also have different capacity. And so if we decide that we're going to operate, for example, in Wichita, we have to pay um, 2020 2,200,000 per month, regardless of what we're shipping out of there, and we only can ship out a maximum of 31,000 um, units per month. And so our goal, again, is to uh, model this as a capacitated. The reason it's called capacity is it's capa uh, we have capacities. <laughs> facility, uh, we're determining which facility should we locate, uh, facility location model. Okay, so as a reminder, we had two types of decision variables in this problem. We had Xij, which are the quantities shipped from supply I to, to market J, and we had Yi, which is whether I should or should not open a facility. So in this problem, this bright yellow is the Xij, but we now need a new Yi um, decision variable. So this uh, part here is also a decision variable, um, and it's going to be a binary decision variable, whether yes or no, whether I open or not open a facility. Um, and so those are our decision variables. Um, we need to then set our objective function. And remember, our objective function in this model is a combination of fixed um, cost as well as variable cost. And so the uh, first part is this sum product of this. And this would be the variable cost. And so this is how much do I ship from, produce and ship in Baltimore um, to Atlanta. And each of those units uh, cost me this, this amount. Okay, so this uh, first sum product is uh, associated with my variable cost. The second sum product, which is um, the Ys, the binary visual variables, uh, sum product with, sorry, the, the fixed cost, so these um, fixed cost. That's the fixed charge part of our objective function. Okay, so we would combine these two together and that would give us our cost of fixed and variable cost of operating per month of opening and then allocating those resources. Okay. All right, so that's our objective function. We want to minimize that. Um, we also need to look at our constraints. And so we have, you know, in theory, four constraints, but two of them deal with our variables. So we have two kind of main constraints. One is that we need to meet demand. So we have these demand variables here and we need to meet them. And so if I look at Atlanta, I need to have 10,000 units um, shipped every month. So how do I fulfill demand from Atlanta where I could think about summing over um, these here, right? And so from Baltimore to Atlanta, Cheyenne to Atlanta, et cetera. I don't care where it's coming from in terms of my demand constraint. I just need at least uh, 10,000 units, okay? And so similar for Boston, I don't care where it's coming from. I sum up over all my supply locations, but I need to have 8,000 units that month, okay? And so what we will do in Excel Solver is we'll have this matrix equal that matrix, okay? So if we did that, uh, we could get our demand, um, satisfied. However, we uh, might not necessarily have the capacity to do so, and we also haven't figured out which facility should I open, which one should I not open, okay? So that's where we need to have the capacity constraints, and the capacity constraints are doing a couple of things. First, they're enforcing that we only have so much capacity um, at each of these facilities, but it's also tying the x variables to the y variables, and so it's actually tying to the fact if I open it, 
then I get to use it. If I don't open it, I don't get to use it. And that means the x's need to be zero. And so if I look at that, we are multiplying the ki, the capacity, times the yi, which is then saying if it's zero, I have zero capacity. If I make this one, then the right hand side is I have 18,000 units. But if it's again zero, I have nothing. And so this is this nice uh, constraint that's tying together um, the capacity uh, of the facilities with the fixed charge um, or the binary variable with the um, xij, the continuous variable. Um, and then on the uh, left hand side, what does that need to be less than? Well, it needs to be less than everything we ship out of Baltimore. Um, and so I can produce in Baltimore and ship to Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, et cetera, but I only have at most 18,000, even if I open that. And so we're gonna then have a constraint that um, says um, that again for Cheyenne, the sum out of Cheyenne has to be less than or equal to zero if I don't build in Cheyenne. And if it's one, then it has to be less than or equal to 24. Um, and again, these ones and zeros, that's what the Excel solver, the optimization model will determine, but I think it's helpful to play with those to get an insight into that constraint. All right, so we're set up. Now we just need to solve this um, in solver. So if you go to data um, and solver. Um, okay, so what is our objective? Our objective is here um, in yellow. We are minimizing, we are changing the values. And one thing to note is we're changing all of these. So don't forget your Y. Um, decision variables. And um, if we see here, we have that the demand um, must be fulfilled. So what is getting fulfilled? That's the, the first one. And then this is just equal to our demand. Um, then we also have that the uh, capacity. So what is getting shipped out of each of one of those must be less than or equal to our capacity. But remember here, we have the yi turning on and off. And so if we don't build, we basically have a capacity of zero. Um, and then we have one more um, decision variable or constraint, which enforces that these decision variables, the yi's have to be binary. So how do you do that? You click here and you say binary, and then you add that. Um, so we have these three um, constraints. Um, we can hit solve. And so if we hit solve, it says it found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied. One thing to note is because we have an integer program, not a linear program, sometimes Excel uh, lies to you, um, that they don't always give you an optimal solution. But for this small problem, you will be good to go. All right, so we click OK. And you can see here, we now have two sets of decision variables. Um, we have the shipment decision variables, and we also have um, whether or not we build. So we decide that we should build in everywhere except Cheyenne. And you can see what's happening here. The capacity uh, is zero and we're not also shipping anything out of Cheyenne. So that is um, the capacitative facility location model solved optimally using Excel Solve.